name is Basha and uh, I've just graduated uh, from an industrial design degree in the School of Bonn in Poznań, Poland. And during the study I found myself really interested in robotics and programming apart from design. So I'm trying to connect these two worlds and that's what I do for a living. Now I'm working uh, for creative projects that engage the robots and new technologies in them. All my family is programmists. So my whole life I try to uh, steer myself away from that. That's why at first I chose art to study art, but it was too much for me. I just wanted to implement the creativity in me. Uh, and one day I saw uh, in an article that there is the new, this new school coming up, School of Form. And the next day I, I just quit my art studies and I started studying industrial design. In every project I do, I try to engage the technologies within it. I found myself really interested in the process that begins from digital world or even like analyzing the surrounding and then putting the surrounding in the digital world to produce something back to the reality, just like 3D printing. So you, you look at the things around you, you measure them, put them in 3D world and then having to spend a lot of money for a silicon cast, you can just produce each single piece differently and adjust it whenever you like. My process is a bit different to the most common one. When you sit down, have the idea, and then make the prototypes, you try them out, you make the prototypes that work out, and then you go back to the beginning. I, I just, like the product testing phase, when the 3D print is ready for use, is really short because anything happens, I can just throw it away and make a new one. So. Uh, it's, it's really great to be using all the graphic prototyping and uh, robots that can do something for you and it's precise, it's exactly the same as you want it. Here's my diploma project. It started up from thinking about forgotten tradition in the region of around the um, School of Forms of Poznań. The technique that inspired my project on, it's called Snutki and it is known by maybe a few people. And I had real luck to find one a lady who taught me the whole traditional technique. The characteristic of Snutki is that you are embroidering the whole pattern and then when it's all finished, you cut out the supporting fabric. Yes, it, it's definitely, it can be used in fashion. You can put any winding material in the mechanism and it will work. I experimented with Kevlar, with glass fiber and carbon and they proved to be really great um, reacting with resin. Uh, so when you, uh, all you have to do is to uh, put the input points in the program and the path is generated itself. So if you just put random lot of points and the robot will just leave it, uh, it can create something unexpected, something different every time and it's not a problem to generate the path again. It's just a few clicks. You don't have to rearrange the whole production line to create this one piece that you want to have. My personal opinion is that there are, uh, there are jobs that can really uh, enrich themselves in, while using robotics. Uh, but yeah, it, it is hard. I, it is, uh, the worst part of it is that people will lose their jobs when the robots can do it a hundred times faster, a thousand times faster. But as, well, uh, as long as these people can be engaged in the process with the robots, I think that would be the paradise uh, solution to that.